That was hey, unnecessary. You ready to die? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I'm working on it. I love the smell of the dead at night. I was hoping it would be morning so I could say like I love the smell of the dead in the morning, but not not so lucky. Not so lucky. Hello everyone, I'm Echo, and welcome back to Dying Light 2. We need to get a move on because we have... Keep to the roofs, because if the Howler spots you... Yeah, I know. I don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, hospital is that way. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids. There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out the parkour in this game. Pretty quickly, if I want to survive. Here we go. Hey! The lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? Is he at zero hour, say? a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. And since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. Hmm. And they keep mentioning zero hour. I'm guessing that was the point when I guess most of society could have considered everything to gone to have gone to absolute hell. There's not a chance of recovering anymore. I don't know, that's just a prediction. Seems like a lot of people died in the chaos of Zero Hour. It was A in the previous game. Oh, okay. I'm at the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Gotcha. Part of me, like, I, I want to trust you, bud. But part of me feels like I can't. I mean, were they even trying to find a vaccine to begin with, or did they go full tilt into an um, into Umbrella Corporation Just style of so solution? What do you mean we don't have much time? What the fuck is in here? You got it? Door's locked. Uh you know how to open locks? Maybe. Sure. Turn the key. <laughs> what if you don't have a key? Hack on. I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think uh, this yeah. room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. Oh. Thank you. I was wondering when I was going to get that. Are you going to move out of the way or not? Move. Let the provide. You know what? I, I'm more of a professional at picking logs than I am at talking. And she has a clear indicator of that. Got it. First try. Oh no. You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. Ooh, little touchy there, are we? Little touchy. Understandable. Hack on. Oh, what the hell? Better work quick. Not sure how long I have. Uh, you got it? Fuck it. Yeah, I think I'm more suited. Call some help. There you go. Okay. Careful though. That's a long drop. What was that? Let's go. This way. Is something haunting us? Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. Gotcha. Flashlight off. Lovely, I get to open the door. What's in a dark zone? Oh. 
this is Aiden? No, 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 no. He's turning. He's turning. He's having hallucinations. This is what happened to Crane when he started to turn. Okay, bud. <laughs> Aiden. Everything okay? No. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. Ooh. I've been somewhere like this. Yeah. This is what happened. So it doesn't work quite the same. Before, you had to be pretty close to turning. For um, the hallucinations to fully set in, but clearly they set in a lot quicker and they're a lot stronger. This hospital, I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility, where there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. There was a guy here named Waltz. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppress the memory, like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Thanks for that, Icon. Got you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Really good friend. He said dark zone. What is a dark zone? Damn, dude, you move quick. Sleeping. Sleeping beauties. Yeah. We have to walk past them. If you crouch and move slowly, they shouldn't notice you. Yeah, no kidding. Get too close and you're done for. You probably know that already. I do. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, that feels like a bad idea. Control you assholes. So, the senses of sleeping beauties are learning to pass around them and keep your distance. God. Mm, the music is amazing and yet not helping. Shit, hack on! Yeah, that's not gonna help. Go. go 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 can they follow not sure if they can let's just try and be a bit more careful this time holy shit there's so many of them oh that was close that was so freaking close <coughs> uh. What is that? Chemicals. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. What was it supposed to do? Just... You don't have an answer, then? think about that like sound does play so, a role now this guy you told me about what was his name waltz 
Yes. Him? Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiments. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. Fair enough, fair enough. Where there's good, there's always evil. Need help with this one? Careful, that's a long drop. All right. I just told you that's a long drop. Be careful. It's not stable. No shit, you just took like a 10, 15 on, foot man. drop down onto the damn thing. Aiden? Woo! Whoa. Move. Very quickly. This is not the time to be slow. It's very close. Ooh. Thank God he didn't go you through the I... panel. Barely. I guess so. Thank God that didn't have a few extra floors under it. Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. No kidding. And I'm out of breath. Fucking hell, I told you not to jump on it. And you decided to just not listen. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier? At the girls' workshop. Neighbors. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors oh, should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. Oh, yeah. Jerry X says keycard. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Let me guess, it's not gonna be easy to get to this, right? So why the fuck would it? Hate it when it's a cutscene. Oh, we got company. Don't move. You can't handle that. No kidding. I know. I've seen this fucker. What was that? on it. I don't plan to take on one of these fuckers. And Aiden, it didn't just run off. It ran off after noise. That sounds pissed. What the hell? I'm hiding. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, well... Doing this the hard way. Mm, can you stop pounding my asshole? Aiden, hurry. If that infected finds you, you're dead. Working on it. God damn it. <laughs> Us. He won't. 
Besides, you'd have to catch us too. Come hmm. on, don't back out now. Don't give up that easily. Ooh. Not the time to look. It's the time to move. Don't be a chicken, Eddie. You okay, Aiden? I do worry, like... I'm, I'm glad stuff like that's giving you strength, but at the same time... Try to keep your head screwed on straight. It's not the time to be losing it. Not with a volatile around. Here's an inhibitor. go okay upgrade skills through three inhibitors and they increase stuff they will be found in GRE quarantines and GRE anomalies gotcha nice okay uh three inhibitors upgrade stamina or how to choose stamina to be able to climb higher there we go Oh, did you have to do it so What's close up? to the dick? I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm oh. waiting. You good? Okay. Nice. Dick hole. Good, 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 good. Uh, God damn. Huh. Are you in one Are they piece? working? Mostly. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? I had a feeling about something. Uh, on behalf of all its holes, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. Oh! You're about to turn. What? Get into the light fast. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So, light can actually solve you're about to turn come on, come on. oh volatile not good not good not good not good come on i should be so close to a goddamn zombie right now that you shouldn't be able to do shit about me son of a bitch It's not gonna burn itself. That was close. But what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? Don't know yet. I know we'll probably kill the man that made her disappear in the first place. I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that once I find her. Once you find her. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. <laughs> I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, <laughs> uh, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. 
right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? <laughs> Deal. If we both survive this conundrum, when I'm done with my business in this city, me, you, and Aiden's sister can get the fuck out of here. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. <laughs> Come on. Let me show you something. If you're a dead man walking, you might as well live a little while you still can walk. And you're gone. Oh, you teleport quite a bit, don't you? Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Binoculars. How do I use them? Binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations. One plus some locations to discover binoculars automatically added to your map. Okay. You see the church? That's where the Howlers were after us. It's mm. the center of the district. Oh. Uh-huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? <laughs> I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. Never ask how things can get worse. When I'm around, things can always get worse. Okay, so zoom. So we are in the open world portion of this. So the main map is broken up into four areas. Four different level areas, I'm assuming. Okay. Well, guess we're gonna do it. Ooh. That nearly went badly. Back on been showing you around, huh? Mm-hmm. Don't trust that stinky bastard. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, are you fuckers gonna let me in this time? No need. Isn't this where they tried to hang me before? Damn. Hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning and all for nothing. What? I just can't Meet people the bizarre. Sure. What about you? What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Yeah. You were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Okay, what's the test about? 
But what's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. Yeah, I was about to All say. All ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. That already existed. Uh, so what's your problem then? So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they can be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Interesting. But I already have them. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Sure, we'll go with that. Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. How the hell did I get dragged into this again? Oh yeah, nothing better to do. Um... It seems like your electric fence didn't work all that well. What the fuck did you do? Everything alright? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. What happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. Definitely. It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, Assistant? A, uh, craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. I know how weapon mods work. This was how we supposed to make that supposed to be a fence. 
Why is it on the ground? That's not how an electric fence works, unless it's an underground one. But in which, in that case, you have to put collars on the goats that electrocute them when they go near the fence. Uh, okay, let's check the nose board. Anything of use? Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. What is a night runner? Those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Hmm. Do you know anything about Mia? Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. How do I find them now? Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Um, what do you got? Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. Pardon? There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? True. Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Um... What's your proof? Oh, What's wait a happening? Minute. Do you have proof? Not Sherlock Holmes. Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! What just happened? Fuck me. People will always need, need help? Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. Okay. 
Maybe this is revenge? So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans okay. might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Dude, I'll kill you myself if you're lying to me, you know that, right? I'm not one to cheat. No, wait, yeah I do. It's gonna come out day and night, what the hell am I talking about? I just want to do this for XP. Mm. Never mind. There's, there, there's just straight up a ladder right here. I was about to try and make that jump. But then I noticed, oh, eh, yeah, there's a ladder right there. No need for that. No need for all that. Uh, let's find a way in. Ah, here we go. This will work. There we go. We got five minutes in here. Ah, uh, maybe less. What the fuck do I do about you? You know what? I don't think I need that thing in this. Turn on your flashlight. No, I don't think so. I, I'm good. I don't think I need the upgrade. Okay, pretty close to the first objective. Which is somewhere up here. Uh, can I climb this? Ooh, I can. The question is, do I have enough stamina? pushing it. No, not even kind of. Damn. So certain parkour aspects are very much off limits because of my stamina limitations. I mark when the water's flying. Working on it. Whew. Oh, darkness. Okay. Okay, Marco, you better hope I find you in the next five minutes, otherwise you may be a dead man. You Marco? Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Pardon? Uh you sell what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? No. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. Alright? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plasma. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Fucking liar. I think that one's still alive. 
Make way, kid. Fuck are you calling kid? Right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go away. Pardon? I'm gonna hurry up, I'm kinda so really on a timer. Are one of those fucked up Ouch. Fucked up. Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, mm -hmm. what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. One hell of an accident. Of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So I decided to set the trap. So you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Mm, not quite. At least I, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. <laughs> the whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a so I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced mm. up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julia. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. What about Julian? Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? That is fucked up. You make a mistake, and you think another man should hang for your mistake? What the fuck? What is wrong with you? I have fucked up morals. And even I'm not that bad. I'm gonna tell them the truth, bud. I'll be honest. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water for me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. Not too so bad then. That's the story you ain't going to tell. That was hey, unnecessary. You ready to die? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been I'm working on it. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. You have amazing timing, you know that? You have great timing. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ooh, decapitation and all. That's what you get for being a piece of shit. Actually, I can real quickly do that, and this may be on the way. I can at least warn the other guys since I'm right here. Woo! Right off the roof. Not really. I'm very low on health. Oh, dude, you are having a bad day. So am I, though. Uh, hello? Hans? Hans, you there? Mm, don't like this. Hans? Hans. This can't be good. Hans. What the hell? Scott, don't drink that water. <coughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> yeah, I know. That moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Pardon? Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. 
Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. What? That what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. You better hope. I hope I don't drink it first. I think, how far away is this other tower? Also, I didn't quite catch your name. I'm running out of daylight. I'm gonna head towards the main mission for a time being. I'll go look for your friend another time later. How you doing, bud? I can't. Uh, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> uh, she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. Was <laughs> she one of your wives? <laughs> Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. <laughs> what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. Yes. Okay. Peacekeepers run the city? So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Okay, what's next, son? Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the Central Loop. Look, we can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. Mm -hmm. When you get to the main station, let me know. Gotcha. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night. Of course, less no. infected in the tunnels. That actually makes sense. So these infected, like before, the infected didn't really care about light, day or night. So, you know, you would have worse. You would have media. Ah, oh, son. Of course. I got it. There's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find oh, yeah. some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. Working on it. Sorry. Working on it. So interesting. So whatever they did to the um to the virus when they were militarizing it ended up making the new infected much more sensitive to light than the old infected were. The old infected couldn't give a damn. And they still don't. Ow, they don't like UV light in general. But they definitely care a hell of a lot more now than they used to. Through. Not sure how much time I have left. There's my answer. Three minutes. God, that changes everything. Damn. Is that like an ant? Is the immunity stuff like antizen? That's the only thing I can think of that would do that. Assuming antizen still does anything to THC. THV, not THC. I did not know you could take down walkers. Good to know. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. Okay. 
God damn. This is terrifying. I can't tell. What is what? I'm worried about waking them up. Okay, does my flashlight not wake them up? I thought it would. Okay, that's fine. Shouldn't be wasting time, but stuff always helps. Continue to be mushrooms with stress part of your moon. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I think it's already attached. Okay. Thought I may be placing a bit too close to one of them. Nope, nope, nope. I'm good. I'm good. God, I shouldn't do this while I only have a minute and a half, but... Look, picking dates only a few seconds. Shut up, I know. Like I said, a few seconds. Uh, killers... Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Where? Where, 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 where? Uh, I'm not sure I want to waste the time, but I'm not sure I don't have the time. That was close. <coughs> oh, fuck, go, 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 just keep going. Just keep going. We haven't got the time. We haven't got the time. We had to go, we had to go, we had to go. I see some mushrooms. Thank God I picked these up and figured out what the hell they do quicker. I think I can see some light, but I'm gonna eat these just in case. This is fine. This is such. This is so much to deal with at one time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The hack on. I got to the flare. Please, please. Look around. Oh. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. Oh. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Oh, we barely made that. God damn it. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, not again. Whoa. Come on, you disgusting fuck. Have at ya. He can't answer. He's dealing with the guards. What do you want me to do? Go? I am doubtful. I am going to get this lock pick off. Oh, yeah, that thing's spitting at me. It's worth a try! Numb fuck! Technically, like, if we had a UV light on us, can we just shine that on ourselves, or would that not be enough UV light at one time? Should be good. Ah, oh, silly bitch. Oh. <sighs> Do you need to be so loud? Here we go. I got it. I'm inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. Bring our pack on. Should I'm on the platform. Worry? Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Okay. Please hurry, I have no clue if anything's following me. Oh. Damn. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh. Listen, it's a misunderstanding. 
Where did he come from? Where did he go? through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. Where'd he come from, kind of Joe? What the hell are you on about? Uh, you guys may want to put me in UV light if you don't want a problem. He's awake. Hello, hello. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. Pardon? How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? I got here two days ago. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. You won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said- Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. Yeah, you sound like a dickhead. The pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Yeah, like you said, I appeared yesterday. Yay! Okay. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. Uh huh. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Mm -hmm. Impressive. <laughs> What's it like out there these days? You just want to have a chit chat? Um, when was the last time you were outside the city? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. God and there damn. Are that many fewer survivors, and that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fuck. Fucking hell. That is, uh, wow. London did not fare well, did they? Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, Listen. if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas, too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Now you only got here yesterday. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. You really don't. You're kind of dickheads. The lands are, uh, dangerous, to say the least. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger is going to come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter. Not I really. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone. Hmm. Maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used I'm to trading. giving you a reach you around. No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Yeah, it's a really bad idea. That. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon, a rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. 
I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. That it? First of all, why should I trust you? Secondly, are we talking about the same bazaar? Because last time I checked, they took one look at me and tried to hang me alive. Then why should I work with you? That you attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. No shit, why can't you numb nuts. On your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Yeah. yeah. Look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. Uh. So, will you help me? Do I have a choice? Holy shit, I actually have a choice. Do I want to work with this testicle-looking dickhead? Uh... I genuinely have a choice here. Oh shit. I'm used to being on rails and not getting this many choices. Uh I really don't like you guys. You you're you're massive dickheads, you know that? So uh out of my own affairs. I don't want to get involved in your conflicts. Look, if you have nothing on me, can I get out of here? I won't hold you by force. But remember, cooperation with the peacekeepers can pay off. Meaning... Interesting. Safe zone unlocked. Is it a safe zone? Hack on. Oh, you there? Hey then, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Okay. Working on that. Just seem to spend my script real quick. You must help us. That could uh... Otherwise there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding someone. Time is running out, Carl. You don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind and reap the whirlwind, Anderson. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. We're gonna just listen to, to some spicy drama. Some spicy, spicy fucking drama. These guys are at each other's throats, seriously. So we are not out. Yeah, fuck off. You trying to die? Okay, well, that plan could have gone better. Last time I checked, dickhead, this is not center loop. So, uh, what's the plan? So, what did they want from you? Help. Why were you... It, we don't care. They asked us for help. Ader said he might let me through to the center. If I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? Get your murder. He wanted me to find Lucas's weapon. Uh, Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? Yes. So, we just have to find it. I declined. Oh. What? I don't, I don't like him. Guys. I'm not the military type. Besides, he won't help me until the killer is caught. Then how do you expect to get to the center, huh? One step at a time, kiddo. Step one, find the Lazarus. Shit. I thought you were smarter than that. Hey. I'll find another way. Okay, maybe that's good. The PK respects strength. It's the only language they understand. 
Let's find those damn brass knuckles on our own. That way, Etor will get what he wants, but without taking you for granted. You'll have the upper hand. You'll have to let us through. Now... Now you're talking. I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, I'll try and track him down. You'll see. Finding him will pay off for you. I hope it does. That really could have gone better, couldn't it? <laughs> that could have gone worse! I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Um, if you enjoyed, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Growing that, be good, be well, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!